Falling down like teardrops, weakened by the soulful cries. This is a beautiful poem. Yes. <laughs> Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard? Because I, la I laugh like I've got gold mines, digging in my own backyard. Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain, I rise. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise. Into a daybreak that's wondrously clear, I rise. Thank you, Varalika. That was so beautiful, the reading of the poem. And uh, all of us who are listening, what did you listen to majorly? What is this beautiful poem telling us? And this is such an ode, you know, such a beautiful, uh, you know, dedication I would rather give to 2020 that uh, you know our spirit is definitely braver and more courageous than any pain anything that drags us down yeah power of oneself Ritika. yes and we can leave behind the nights of terror we can leave behind the fear and we can go beyond it and that is only and only in the belief and the core value of your own self when you're rooted and anchored within in your own self and you know that you'll rise no matter what that's what humanity has done all through, right? And we are a wonderful survivors. So this is the spirit with which we want to move into uh, 2021. And uh, yes, hope is a decision, absolutely. So let's now turn the page uh, into 2021. Before that, I would love to, uh, you know, say a story of a saint. Uh, you know what he did? A saint sent out three of his disciples out there in the forest and he said, please get me some fruits in this basket. He gave empty baskets to the three disciples and the three disciples, they went looking for fruits, fresh fruits. The first one was a little lazy. So whatever he could get his hands on, whether it was like, you know, half ripe or, you know, whatever it was, even the decaying ones, he put them in the basket and he finished his work faster than all others and got back to the saint. The second one was uh, enjoying, you know, he was procrastinating, he was doing everything but collecting the fruits. And when the time was almost there, what he did was he just collected stones in the basket and on top of the stones, just to hide the stones, he put in some fruits, nice ones, okay? So, you know, the basket was actually full, but it was of, full of stones, you know. The third one took almost, you know, the proper time that he had to take. He went deep in the forest looking for the freshest fruits and he collected a bunch of really juicy, fresh fruits. And the three of them returned. And they returned to the saint and the saint said, wonderful, you people have done your job. Now take these baskets and go in the forest and live alone and survive only on this basket, you know, full of fruits. So this is your now, you know, you're, you have to work on yourself and this is what your reward is. So this basket is actually a reward for you because you're going to stay only on the fruits that are in this basket. Now came the problems. Like the one with the freshest fruit was very happy and delighted and he went off. The other one who had collected some, you know, without really looking at the quality of it, was a little saddened and he was worrying about his survival. But the third one was in shock because he had not been honest. He had not been earnest in his work, the work that was given to him. And he didn't have enough fruits to survive a month. He knew it was full of stones and he almost gave up his practice. He had to give up being a disciple because he didn't have enough to survive a month. 
and whose fault is it whose fault was it right yeah yes so the fault was of the person they were given a choice they were given a choice when the time was right that you collect whatever you can and put it in your basket because you never know when you have to survive on what you earned so that was what hit me in 2020 because all i had done was collected knowledge right and all the other work did not last but the knowledge that i collected worked and i was getting appointments and 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 work every single day and i could never complain i was always grateful and when i reflected upon it i realized that this is what we earned by our own dedication and our own effort so all of you who said that it went okay it was fine it i i got by it was rather good you know i would say kudos to you guys because you earned it you collected that you know uh, earnest uh, for our what do i say value and you put it in your basket so that you could last in 2020 however i'm not saying those who aren't okay did not really prepare for it but they learned a lot they learned the value of preparation they learned how to be proactive and so everybody's basket now is full either with lessons or with gifts so with that story i would like to move forward to what you shared with me and i'm so glad that you could share your word for 2021 and i saw that the major one that came up from your team was hope and most of you also chose peace and growth and mindset you know reset you chose a lot of calm peace joyfulness but the major one was hope and i was very happy to see that because hope is a wonderful emotion to move forward with hope hope is anticipation plus joy so it takes you forward in the right direction because you're anticipating positivity you're anticipating optimism so that's what you shared with me and wonderfully that is the theme of the 2021 year hope so what are the 10 steps that we need now to prepare ourselves better for whatever times are coming ahead of us right so let's begin with the with the theme of it this year 2021 we need to focus a lot on self concept clarity so it's a psychological term in very you know normal language it would be knowing about your own self self concept clarity is a very important thing because it it gives you direction to where you are and where you ought, ought to be so some people are very clear about where what their targets are what their goals are where they are moving what they're expected of what is to be done to please others but they unfortunately haven't looked into their own self and haven't really inquired what is it that i am made of what are my values and you know once you're clear about your own self and you mapped yourself thoroughly then you know where you are going you know when you're saying no and when you're saying yes to people so it it gives you a lot of clarity how would we do it of course we all have our own ways to know ourselves i'm sure everyone in this age is working towards self development and towards personal growth and towards kaizen which is like growing every moment becoming better every moment all of us are together in it so let's walk this path in a more crisp and defined manner so the first step is you need to know who you are through your values right so what is it you first do the first thing that you have to do is you have to create a lot of space you have to declutter and that is really important what is decluttering for you i would like to know in chat have you done some decluttering work in 2000 uh you know in this particular year 2020 did you clear away a few things did you say no to certain uh, you know uh, projects work or something that you were on did you really cut and strike off certain things that are not needed anymore did you declutter mentally physically or work wise did you do it Sorry. 
Okay. I am waiting for your chats because that's the only way I get to know. Yeah, decluttered mentally. Okay. I have only one person here with me. Okay. Yeah, so declutter is definitely not just your physical declutter. Declutter is clearing space, of course, clearing space of around you, the environment, but also clearing your uh, mind, which is really important. Clearing space around, you know, if you are a highly networked person, you will also clear space there because you would realize what is really important and which network I really need to maintain. And, you know, you would not just go on social media for validations and likes. You would really choose where you are. You would choose your time very wisely because you are realizing that time currency is of value. And whatever you surround yourself with, you become that. Unfortunately, we all become what we surround ourselves with. So it is so important that you surround yourself with positivity. And if declutter isn't easy for you, I would recommend that create that space for change by transcending. What is transcending? So every day we all sit for prayers or sit for meditation, or sit for some reflections, contemplations, which is not connected to anything. If you do not believe in such cosmic powers, then you sit in nature or walk in nature and look at trees. Don't you? And don't you transcend to a place which is so mystical, which is so, so full of energy. That is what transcendence is all about. So make space for that transcendent moment, no matter how busy you are. You're, you're fully packed even if you're packed with, uh, you know, Iran's to do. I would invite you to just sit and stare at maybe a leaf or at anything, a blank wall for a minute without thinking. So shall we, shall we try? Is it possible really? Dolce for niente, if you see the words on the PPT, it means the, you know, happiness of doing nothing. If you people have watched EPL, you're with me here. The Italians say it all the time. The dolce far niente is the, the happiness or the sweetness of doing nothing. So can we all really stare at one point in wherever you are? And for a minute, I am starting the counter here. And for a minute, no thoughts, nothing. You're just going to stare at one point, right? So start here. Staring at a point, doing nothing. Oh, that little judgy voice comes up. Ah, some thoughts. What is she going to take us for? I mean, you know, so many thoughts. You can catch your thoughts here right now. They become more loud. Stare and do nothing. No planning, no breathing, focus on the breathing, nothing like that. Just staring at a point, doing nothing. And the time is up. So honestly, tell me, how many of you were having thoughts, even in this one minute? And how many of you could focus for that minute and you could manage without thoughts? Archish, Satvika and Puneet say, yeah, we had thoughts. Thank you. How many of you could initially, yes, Ritika says, but then later, no. Great, Ritika. Paralika had no thoughts. Wonderful. Who else? Sudhir could do it without thoughts. Wonderful, Sudhir. Superb. So we see ourselves and we see how our, we crowd our mind sometimes. And this little exercise could actually put you in a, in a place where you can uh, do nothing. You can stay without thoughts or judgments or voices in your head or to-do lists running in your head or reminders and notifications and alarms. That is, you know, your mind, your head is abuzz with all, all of that. 
So it is really important, first and foremost, as you enter 2021, create that space to do nothing. There should be a particular time span, not, not the whole day. Now, now, I'm not really talking to the procrastinators here. But yeah, you need to create a little time for yourself to create that space in your head, create that environment, clear your desk. It's really important because that will also allow you to clear space around you, right? And at that time, you need to put down your phones. You need to be away. Clearing space doesn't mean sitting on a game on the phone. It really means doing nothing. Second that we dive into right now is because it is the base of everything that we are made of. We are made of certain values. And uh, Brené Brown says the values are the light in, the, in our way to success. So you may see that you know your, your colleague or your boss or your immediate reporting officer or whoever has given you a list of you know projects to do but if they do not resonate with or they you know contradict with your values then it would be difficult to achieve them so it is really important to know your individual values before you move forward with work and i would really share I, i'll share a link with you guys uh, in the chat and I want you to go on there and there are, there's a list of values. Okay, so on your phone, you can uh, do that. I'm just sharing that. Okay. Okay. So... If you can see, there's a, a, a link given. If you can open that link, you will be able to see that. Let me share. Okay. Can you, can you open the link? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so just go and answer it. Yeah. So I want you to select the value that is really important. Do you get a list of values in the link that is shared? Yes, Shreja. Okay, thank you. I hope all of you are able to open the link. You can just copy paste the link in your browser as well. It will open. Yeah, and for those who haven't opened the link, you can tell me your values. If you, if you want help with, you know, words, to choose the words, I would, uh, you know, I would enlist the values that are important for all of us and generally is enlisted. So it could be integrity is important to you, accountability. If you have a, a, a paper, you know, just write down on it or on the chat if you feel that this is definitely the value that I want to take forward and this is what I stand for. And I really want you to listen to the words and what impact does it have on you? So is it integrity? Is it accountability, responsibility that pulls you, commitment, dependability, dignity, honesty, honor, sincerity, transparency, trust, trustworthiness, feelings, acceptance, comfort, compassion, contentment, so empathy, for some people, it's very important for what others feel. Grace, gratitude, happiness, hope, inspiring, irrelevant, joy, kindness, love, optimism, passion, peace, respect, reverence, 
satisfaction, serenity, being thankful, tranquility, welcoming, spirituality, adaptability, altruism, balance, charity, communication. Some people really, this is really important for many people in fact. Community, connection, consciousness, contribution, cooperation, equality, devotion, and there's a list is endless, but you must have got some parts of it. Sensitivity, service, and all that, sustainability, teamwork, accomplishment is all you care about. What is it that you really, really care about? Credibility, development, endurance. So share with me here or in the poll, Okay, lovely. So I will share uh, the screen as I have got some of the results. Okay. So we have a lot of people going in for integrity, honesty, joy, excellence, self-reliance, independence. So that is all got 13%. Beautiful. And in the chat, in the chat, we have satisfaction, courage, uh, Gurmeet says courage, Varalika says serenity, spirituality in balance, Vipin says strength, Vinayak says acceptance, grace, feelings, yes, wonderful, Mridu says balance and satisfaction, gratitude and endurance again, Varalika, wonderful. Group your values together. What is it that you see yourself really valuing in a relationship, in a communication, in a work project? What is it that you go after? So when you are inherently, you know about what you value, you will be able to connect with all those people who also value similar things. Like somebody that said, careful, being careful is what I value. Uh, being self-reliant is what I value. So, so much, so many people want to be working independently in, in, a, in an environment where self-reliance is valued endurance is valued wonderful so we see this okay thank you for the polling and thank you for giving a thought to your values and now back to my presentation here it is so we understand what is the values that light our way so these are the values have a very important your beliefs and values are like the filters that we have you know in uh, the blinds that we have. If it doesn't pass through your value system, even if it's too good, you will judge it as not great, right? So you need to be like in an in a environment where values are honored, your values are honored. How will they be honored if you do not know yourself? What is a miss in certain communication? What is a miss in a project that you do? So when you are steeped in the knowing of your values, you will be able to take or say no to certain things. Am I clear so far in the second point of the, as we move to 2021? With me? Yes. Thank you, Puneet. You say integrity, yes, commitment, sir. moderation. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Abhishek says balance, peace, maturity, sustainability and health. Wonderful, Abhishek. Yes. So number three that really matters is your passion. No matter what you do. You know, you value certain things, but if you're not interested in it, you will not move forward with it. Even if you put in your to-do list, even if you put it into all your plans, you will procrastinate and not do it. Has it happened with you ever? Like you put in an every, you know, a month after month, all the, you know, uh, probably, uh, you know, plans and to-dos. If you are also in bullet journaling like I am, you migrate from one diary to another. You know, there are certain points that keep coming in each one, each journal, each to do, each app. But you, Jen, you know, you hardly sit with it. Yes, I believe and implement in our way, our lives. And, oh, yes, yes. True, or Alika says, right? Any, anybody else who actually felt that, you know, you've been uh, procrastinating on only one certain aspect of your life, the rest are perfectly going fine. You know, you are so perfectly uh, with the time. But there are certain things that you do not, you know, even if you know that it is to be done, you don't get into. Is there really, look into your life. 
look into the way you work is there something that you've not you've been avoiding you've been bypassing is there something if it is you may or may not put in the chat but just look at it right so what are your passions are very very important so it is so important in self awareness field to know what you not just what you stand for the values are what you stand for but what your passions are please answer these questions either in your journal or in the chat i am most passionate about so go through your entire you know how how you've been you've been through the downers and you've been through the uh, low lows and you've seen the entire spectrum of uh, you know life and life's emotions and the peaks and lows so you know what exactly is your passion and if you do not know this is the time to start observing throughout the day in the end of the day don't just write what's my lesson and oh what i'm grateful for also write i got interested in for example i would know that when i was studying the best part for me was to sit with a book and tea i would look forward to sit with a book with my cup of tea in a corner where i'm not disturbed where there are no phone calls and that would be my passion and i would go after it day after day and then i started ma making that as part of my profession so whatever i share with you is the books that i read i love to read them and i love to take the bits and pieces and put them in my life and when it works i put them in my trainings so here this really worked for me my passions i am happiest when can you really tell me when you're happiest throughout the day or during a project or working for with the people what is it that makes you in the office or in any environment i am happy yes when so fill in the blanks what is it that makes you really happy what is it that makes you 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 suddenly are thrilled and joyful that is so important so can you nail it so as we kick off in 2021 we need to know it we need to know ourselves better we need to be like those little painters painting our own you know self with the colors that we like so can you nail it writing poetry thank you aralika that's wonderful vinayak says joy is important yes and what brings you joy vinayak now is the question what brings you joy put those points in your diary or somewhere you know you need to know what really makes vinayak happy so that has to be known i am at my best self when okay okay puneet says making others win so puneet has that empathy factor strongly there and he must be a team leader or something it seems yeah <laughs> definitely puneet wonderful priyamara says i'm happy as when my family is happy again as you you know wonderfully this is so amazing that we are always happy in giving and yet when we try to make goals we are only squeezing from life and when you actually look at your values and look at the passions they are contradicting the 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 race for achieving and reaching and that's what 2020 actually taught us mostly you know when not being judged ritika so you love being independent being uh, yourself self reliant so that so be it that's you lifting others to grow and when i can sleep peacefully so amazing varalika and uh, when i could make others life happy helping others so wonderfully uh, all of you have put that yes it is definitely in giving that we receive maximum and that's our passion so see that may not be you know a passion could be an interest but then we are using our passion to help others so this is how the scheme of things are, have to be now I want you to write down i am at my best self when in which situation with whom where exactly in which work which part of your work which role where are you at your best so let's reflect and fill in the gap there so this this whole uh, journey to to 2021 is like you know like socrates i'm only going to question a lot and and, and let the inquiry into 2021 you know take us to the smooth path that we'll carve for ourselves so i'm at my best self when 
you need to fill it. At least some of you have, can put it in the chat as well. Puneet, again, you, you know, you're one with the team. Puneet is the leader <laughs> <laughs> coaching my team in learning with it. Of course, definitely, Puneet. I am with you on this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at my best self and I'm alone in meditate. Wonderful, Varalika. So you value that uh, space of yours and that's your special place. That's where you will recharge yourself. That's where when you anchor your words, that's like Puneet is coaching and that is the time when he'll anchor himself in that steep joy that he experiences. This is how, why we are, you know, navigating through our life to know where our soul really is joyful is, you know, where we leave it. So doing small things make me happy. Little things, yes. No pressing deadlines to focus only at work. We'll do wonderful <laughs> Yeah, so we got to be a lot of proactivity is needed, Nidu. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And what energizes me the most? Now, this is really, really uh, the key. What is it that energizes you? How do you get energized? Does, uh, does music energize you? What is it? Painting, dancing? Yes. Wonderful. A walk in the nature will do wonderful. Yes. Traveling. I'm with you on it. Yes. What else? Completely. Yes. Exercise. True. Smiling children. Amazing. Gardening. Sports. So amazing. So for all of you who have this range of energizers, you know, that you know that is there, I would really invite you in 2021, create space for these things. Please create space. And if, for example, you're at work, and you really can't travel, then you can have all those spatial memories as anchors. When you are, you could look at pictures of travel or nature and get yourself energized. You don't need to be in the drill without really pausing to, when you create space for yourself, create space for these things too. So this is so important. This is what energizes you. Smile on faces of everyone. Gyanendra, yes. Wonderful. I'm sure people are smiling around you all the time. Now, now let's get into what is really our purpose. And before the, that, we will look, watch this beautiful video. And I really want you all to watch it. Can you hear the sound?
don't forget to sign your name on your masterpiece so now let's come to really our purpose what do we want to paint how do we want to paint our life where do we want to hang this masterpiece and how do we want to take forward this beautiful life that we've been gifted so this is now the purpose we come to some a point which is like step 4 in our path is it make your purpose bigger than yourself make a difference somewhere not necessarily in the lives of others make a difference in the in your life don't treat yourself less or others more treat yourself as equal to others so as much as you love giving to others give to yourself as well give yourself a beautiful purpose to live by you know victor frankl actually lived in those nazi camps because he had a purpose a meaningful purpose he's written an entire book and he's created this logo therapy based on that if if you know if you are not knowing it then please read that book um, of victor frankl on logo therapy uh, i mean um, the book's name is evading search for its meaning or something like that right i'm sure many of you have read so so please uh, get you know pin down your purpose what is your bigger purpose what is it that you really want to achieve so roughly make a draft of it in your in your journal or wherever you are right now roughly just put it i am going to uh, really uh, you know i'm going to share also some sheets with you for your work in future like you can where you can sit with yourself have a good cup of coffee and sit with that uh, those sheets and plan it out properly but right now I want you to roughly write down your purpose and uh, it should be so beautiful that say if you are 80 and you're sharing this purpose with all your people around you what would it be so i would like you to uh, write it down right now what is that purpose that drives you every morning with me so far thank you puneet yeah so i hope you all are penning down scribbling down your purpose purpose is uh, bigger than goals and targets goals and targets are just like a part a milestones to achieve the bigger purpose this purpose is what you stand for which which supports your values which supports your interests which supports what makes you happy which is what makes you you so that is how you you identify your purpose yeah So one of you would like to share Puneet why don't you share your purpose in life Okay so uh, this is something that that I have been thinking for quite some time and trying to move towards that and uh, the wonderful video that you showed I would say the 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 picture of purpose is built through you know one stroke at a time but you will have to visualize the picture totally and then choose the colors but it's done one stroke at a time you can't you know, build it you know in a in a short period of time but uh, i'm enjoying the journey i have chosen a area of being in career counseling space okay lovely so i think you know uh, right from a schooling to you know the connect with careers being in education and training i think there are there are a lot of areas where a lot of work can be done yeah, absolutely and want to contribute my to it in terms of doing it and and oh, that's wonderful. the purpose. you are the torch bearer for the adolescents and this is so wonderful i think they need it so much i have a 15 year old and i can guarantee you this is the time when they need people like you as career counselors and others who torch bearers actually so lovely purpose thank you thank you for sharing and yes you are right it's one stroke at a time but thankfully we have this beautiful gift of mind where we can see the just all you know we can see the whole picture right. and then once we've seen the whole picture together we can then chunk it down to those strokes and build a map and that is the process for 2021 for all of us we have to chunk it down and build this beautiful 
beautiful picture. Archish, you are being very honest and I love this. Yes, it is the most difficult question and yet I would say this is the most important question. We ourselves juggled through various pathways to find that one purpose that, you know, lights us up. So I'm sure like Puneet said, like many of us have realized, you will also, since you are on the path, you will realize it. And keep, keep at it, you will get it. So as I said, go through the list. What makes you passionate? What, what are you passionate about? What is it that makes you happy? What is that that makes you you? You know, get to that and you will get your purpose. And from the purpose comes this beautiful personal mission statement, right? So when you start digging, Archish, you will definitely get on to the purpose. And from there, as you go through, you will come to this uh, my mission statement. And it is like, you know, as everybody talks about vision and mission and goal. But as we get into 2021, we have thankfully the immense learning that we, you know, achieved through the pandemic, through the situations changing, through the transitions and, and the world political changes that have happened and so many things that have happened. We have so much of experience now that when we make our mission statement, we would know where exactly it is leading to our purpose. Is it, leading, is it going through the pathway of our values or not? Is it, is it really preparing us for what is very important and what is our priority or not? So you need to really define if your purpose is clear and if you're there, I would want you to put it down. And how do you put it down? Where do I want to be? How do I want others to see me? So your mission really involves this as you know, how you're projecting yourself, where you really want yourself to be, and what impact do you have on others. So it includes a verb and an outcome. For example, if I would want to share mine, so my mission is to empower individuals and professionals to gain clarity and confidence. That's my verb. And what is my uh, outcome? My outcome is so that they can overcome their obstacles in life, and they can become high performers. So this is a simple mission statement that drives me, that puts my goals together, that gets me on the path. And each day I strive to gain that clarity. And, and not just me, my people who are, whom I work with, my team gets clarity. So your personal mission, it has to be very clear. And I would want you, I would invite you to try and write it. You know, if you can write on the chat, it's okay. That'd be really brave of you. And if you could put it down in your paper, I invite you to do it. I'm giving you a minute for this particular task. It's really important to have your personal mission. Even if you're part of a larger organization, if you are sorted, if your mission is sorted, your team is sorted, your work is sorted. So get on to it, know yourself. My mission is world peace and happiness, okay? And what is the verb? This is your outcome, Varalika. World peace and happiness is your outcome. What is it that you're doing? What's your verb? What's your action? That completes the mission statement. So a beautiful outcome that you want to achieve, but how do you want to achieve it? So let's put that in. I conduct dialogues with people who suffer. So wonderful, put it down. I interact with people or conduct dialogues with people who are suffering so that they can, you know, the world can, you know, be more enlightened and walk towards peace and happiness. So you are stringing that together and that way you will be clear on every morning or you could put that in right in front of you when you wake up in 2021, especially you start working more towards what you really aim to do so they can lighten their burden. So wonderful, Varalika. Thanks for sharing. Similarly, I want all of you to start thinking about the verb. What are you doing? And what's your outcome in your personal mission? Yes. Wonderful. So you need to be very clear and crisp. This is like a crisp statement of your bigger purpose. It's like structuring your purpose in, in a way that it takes you. It, it is like a walking uh, way for you. Right? Now the bigger question is, am I aligned? Do I belong? When you do that, do you do an ecological survey about what you want to achieve and how aligned are you 
how belonging do you feel you are with the people around you with whom you're working or are you not in synergy because if you're not in synergy you have to build a lot of rapport and and rapport is simple simply based on one thing like attracts like people like people who are like them right so to to be like them you need to it's not going to be fake you know uh, validations and fakeness i am inviting you to try building rapport with being you you can still build a rapport with others right and you need need not impress upon them what you believe in all you need to do is accept and understand and listen to what they believe in as veralika is into dialoguing i'm sure she knows this that it is so important to build this rapport with people around you and be in synergy with the higher objective of the entire community and be belonging to what you need to do if you are a change maker if you are trying to change your community or where you are even then you need to build rapport right so having your personal mission in place question yourself as you're putting everything down am i aligned is my goal and mission and purpose in synergy right uh, gyanendra says demand is created innovation and initiatives yes demand is created innovation and initiatives create the demand or demand is created for the innovation absolutely but uh, is it like in synergy with whatever is really in uh, in the need is the need of the hour really demanding you to go for that innovation <laughs> or is it so you need to see the synergy between all that you are aiming to do technology driven career advisory services what you do okay puneet thank you <laughs> yes so as we move forward with this question which is really important we come to step 7 this is an a very classic you must have read it in almost all to dos and self developments and plannings and synergy but this works trust me it works why it works is because it puts you in a time capsule and when you are in a time capsule you are able to think better this is a wonderful wonderful uh, odc it's called the odc plan but it works all the time so where do you see yourself in 5 years if your life were an interesting story what would be the next chapter please give yourself time to write that chapter please give yourself that space to write that chapter i welcome you to dive into this process and you will love your life it will be so proactive you'll be there you'll be present to every moment so go for it so doni robin says if you talk about it is just a dream you if you envision if you're visualizing like we put the purpose down it's possible it's kind of possible but if you put it in a personal mission which in time capsule and you schedule it it becomes real it becomes your reality so as we walk through the steps it is becoming more concrete more crystallization is happening so we move from a vision a purpose and then we move and we move backwards and forwards like a game so now you're moving you're taking skipping a lot of years to know where exactly will you be when it is 5 years social entrepreneur puneet says so wonderful yes change agent who else has been thought, thinking about this that what am i going to be in 5 years or did you not at all think about it ah oh, i love it varalika author I just say I want to be an entrepreneur in next five years, making an impact in the world. Wonderful. What else do you see yourself as? All of you out there listening, I'm sure we have Vivek uh, and so many others who joined in. Sadhika, how many exactly we have participants? Twenty-seven, and I'm getting three replies. <laughs> so I currently we have twenty-nine. Twenty-nine, right? So, so I want more of you. to come up and write to me in chat because that is how i can get to you agar main hoti wahan to piche pad jaata par unfortunately nahi hu some people have not responded even once i think you yeah, guys should so I should respond you just just be with us be with us in this beautiful process i know all of you know a lot but when you do it that's why workshops you know not a book you could read the book but a workshop means you are actually sitting and doing something 
and the action is so important friends even if you take a tiny bit of action here maybe you will get some material to sit with yourself when you are alone in your space to elaborate and you know do something with it so even if you've done it so many times trust me this helps every time you sit with it so develop more than 100 success stories gyanendra are amazing amazing you have a number to it and that makes it even more crisp and concise so wonderful yes so as we move forward with this odc plan with uh, this particular thing this is the most important as now you have the five year plan with you you have don't have a plan but you have the vision right now so what are you going to do is step 8 you understand what is your life criteria what is the theme of your life as i said i'm going to just take you down the steps and then we are going to integrate it beautifully you need to just take it with me and even if you are joining me in step 8 it's okay right because you're going to get any which way is all the path but i want you to join wherever it starts for you what is your life criteria what do i want my life to be focused on and why now see there will be a lot of uh, knock knocks at your door yeah as as you move through life and in the information age we are really exposed to too much and what happens is when you don't know your life criteria what your life is for what is the theme of your life you are distracted on and off and it takes a longer time to reach where you really want to reach what's your purpose in life so and, and you know often we do that because of this fomo the fear of missing out we want to jump in each thing each opportunity that presents itself we want to jump into it but when you realize what your purpose actually is you will get into jomo which is joy of missing out you will love to miss out on things that are not in your focus and that reminds me choosing battles carefully yeah that's your life criteria is it publishing my book of poetry next okay one of all my experiences in three and wonderful priyam vada thank you for sharing this wonderful mission that you have wonderful and you have the numbers too so now let me get into this again uh, life's criteria because this this defines where your focus is going to be this defines your boundaries and your boundaries are very important because if you do not have boundaries friends you are like uh, you know the feather in the wind moving here and there and the wind decides where you go so there is a gazelle i always remind myself of when i am in that though of course prepare for and be response able for situations to change you need to change you can't be fixed mindset but you also need to have the boundary so there's this song apni marzi ke kaha apne safar ke hum hai rukh hawaon ka jidhar ka hai udhar ke hum hai so is it really is it really what our life's criteria is going to be क्या हम वो अपनी मर्जी से कहा और रुख हवाओं के हिसाब से हम घूमते रहेंगे या देर इज अ टाइम वेन वी कैन एक्चुअली डिसाइड एंड एंड गेट टू आर पर्पज एंड गेट टू द वर्क दैट इज नीडेड टू गेट ऑन टू आर पर्पज सो नाउ टू ब्यूटिफुली सेज वेन आई लेट गो ऑफ वॉट आई एम आई बिकम वॉट आई माई बी एंड देर इज दिस ब्यूटिफुल स्टोरी ऑफ लाउ थ्रू विच आई एम सडनली रिमाइंडेड ऑफ एंड आई विल शेयर विथ यू so uh, he was a saint in the chinese dynasty or something and uh, he uh, he was uh, you know he was being followed by villagers and and a lot of followers uh, you know started increasing for him and that brought attention to the king and the king suddenly realized that i need to meet this saint who suddenly becoming too popular and uh, lao tzu's teachings were very different he would not really get give, give direct uh, you know uh, lectures he would teach by experience or sometimes he would just teach by his silence and only few people could understand really what he wanted to be you know conveyed so any which ways the king decided to come uh, to lao tzu and uh, meet him and uh, with his entourage like he comes there and you know with his entire you know ministers and the team and he stands at the doorway and uh, there is a person who sent to lao tzu to inform that the king is here however uh, he's put into the, the waiting room which is not really a room a garden where he's pacing up and down waiting for lao tzu to appear 
And Lao Tzu doesn't come. What is he doing? He's digging, digging, you know, literally a pit behind uh, the, the place where he was living. He was just digging a pit. And the king waited. And the king said, he's just digging a pit. Of course, he can leave that and come and meet me. But Lao Tzu just kept digging. And the king kept waiting. Time passed. The king was waiting. He was digging and digging. And the king lost his patience and cool. And he was furious by now. And he said, what the hell does he think of himself? Now I don't want to learn anything from him. But I'm going to stay here and meet him just to ask him, how could he ignore me? What is it that he's trying to show me? And well, the time passed, the pit was dug, his work was finished and Lao Tzu came and he apologized, oh, sorry to keep you waiting and please uh, be my guest. And so the king said, no, I, I really don't want to learn anything from you because I'm really pissed off of you and I don't think you're a saint, uh, saint rather you are insane to make a king wait. And uh, now I don't want to learn anything from you, but uh, I want to know why did you do that to me? Lao Tzu said, well, I was simply finishing my task. And uh, the task is neither big nor small. Like we are neither big nor small. And I think I have already taught you whether you've taken or not a lesson. And he said, what exactly is the lesson? And there Lao Tzu said, if you are honest to your work, the work that you're doing, the doer disappears. And the work, the deed and the doer become one. I was one with the digging process. I was not Lao Tzu. I was that work. I was that action that was being taken. So that is the kind of focus that is needed. You become that action. And that is what is needed for you to really succeed. Nothing, nothing can come in your way if you are that kind of a doer. Some doers are doing because of their titles, for example, the king. Some doers are doing because they need to finish off something. But there is this doership in them. Deed is different from them. It's separate. But there are some doers who become one with the action. And when they become one with the action, the results are tremendous. And that is what this story tells us of Lao Tzu and the king. So this is what the step eight is all about. Define your life criteria. And once you've defined your life criteria, bind yourself to it. Like create a boundary. Know when to say no. Know when to say yes. And let 2021 really be focused here for you. The step nine, which is just previous, like, you know, uh, it's precedent being the last step. And last but one, there's one more, which I'll leave, with, leave you with. The step nine is, nine is uh, you know, what is your personal priority for the next 12 months? Now, this is really a personal work. This is really a, 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 a question that you need to sit with yourself with and do it. Try not to be busy in 2021. Try to be effective because if your purpose, mission and focus and life's criteria is defined any which ways, you will be more focused and you will be less busy. Because remember, busyness is not success. Being effective is success. So that is one thing. And working backwards from your mission, now you need to just sit with it and then choose and define how you're going to plan your coming 12 months. And please uh, remember to choose one real important priority at a time. Try not to multitask. Multitask really doesn't work. There is a power of one. I really love this uh, imagery. <laughs> so this person, if you can see it, I'm sure you'll have a good laugh. This is what is actually happening to all of us. We can't help but, you know, look at our emails and our mobile phones. And, and there's a statistics to it. It's called, of course, you know about the flow and fragmented attention. So fragmented attention is when you are constantly diverted either by the cell phone or by you know people around you or the grapevine or whatever it is. On average, we check emails or WhatsApp or messages 74 times a day and switch tasks every 10 minutes. 
computers are made for parallel processing humans are made for serial processing 2021 resolution could be focus on one task at a time and know when to take breaks from the screen know it and uh, just know when to be on social media and not go after that little dot of notifications and yeah it is difficult it's very it, it, uh, you know very inviting but you need to i mean i'm using this app called forest and it really helps me because i can uh, not because i i just can't see the screen it blocks for certain uh, timer that i set for it and then i can focus on it and uh, so one task at a time and another and the last one is crystallize your intentions so we work from clarity to action to motivation and that will build the momentum now for your personal priorities to set in i want you all despite of the 12 month planning and the five year uh, you know vision i would maybe it takes time but i would want you to set at least three concrete goals that will bridge gap between where you are and where you want to be three concrete goals right even if it's like a, a very uh, you know uh, something that is very small something that you really feel that uh, you know you need to achieve like you know i have a very small uh, milestone to achieve like in 6 months i want to really impart trainings to around uh, 12 corporations companies institutions starting from you so i already have achieved the one number one is already achieved today and uh, so i want to reach out to companies and corporations and uh, and and organizations and impart trainings so when i have a number and i have a month and have concrete goals of course broken down for each month it makes me easy it it makes my life easy and i can plan and be proactive and i can also give time to my family and i can balance the wheel of my life which i learned in 2020 really so what are you learning I would want some of you to unmute yourself and uh, share. What are the three concrete goals you look forward to? Oh, oh, oh Puneet has already shared. So Puneet, you really started. I really like that. Complete my ICF coaching certification. Great, and start my masters in psychology. Wonderful. So, how are you sorted? Are you having any concrete three goals? uh maybe month goals or maybe uh, yearly goals or whatever it is register for my phd wonderful who else i really invite you all on in the chat please put it down or unmute yourself and talk if you have something that you've laid out for yourself if not i really i push you for it please do it you must have some crisp concrete goals right in front of you and it could be towards something that you really want to achieve rather than away from something like you know you walk towards peace you don't want to walk away from violence because that creates a lot of vibration that is your thought is still of the violence so try and create a lot of hope a positive anticipation in your life and uh, these things are your cushions if you have it all sorted if you have it right in front of you with the disclaimer of being responsible flexible you can change it you can work on it you can iterate it reiterate it that flexibility with that independence i still invite you to sit with yourself and write the three concrete goals for yourself because that's going to work here is what we discussed life is like a game board game and i love board games so how is it going to be let's see let's revise okay So we start here with the baggage of learnings that has come not just from 2020, but the highs and lows of life that we've experienced. Let's use them as tool. You know, um, once uh, you know, there's a, this guy who talks very intellectually, Sadhguru. I I love watching him. And uh, once somebody <laughs> asked him, uh, can somebody mute? Uh, you know, the participants. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. Before I go into the story, I would like to read. Priyamvata has already shared her three concrete goals, and they are give a boost to my nonprofit that has been neglected. Mobilize resources for it. 
I'm sure that's your passion. That's your go-to value. Give quality and focus time to my children and family and farmland. Thank you, Priya Mada, for sharing this. Because women in work field, I really, really re request you to go through your values very thoroughly. Because sometimes in the race, we forget that our values, our deep inherent values, are to nurture and nourish our children. If we walk away from it, we will feel a void, which is intolerable void. And so when you're aligned with your values, you will you know, value your time and you will not be in the grapevine or any other place where the time is being devalued. So wonderfully shared, accomplished my books. Uh, Priyamvara, please do write about the books also very crisply in your journal, right? So that you can work on it, right? So beautiful share. Okay, now let's get back to this board game. So 2020, reflect upon your main learning from the past year. Come step forward, where am I? Navigate your life now, your precise location. If you're too far from your goal, navigate. Be honest with yourself. Create space for clarity. Declutter, do nothing, transcend. See, then I have this uh, first concrete goal and unlock power word. Skip these two for now. Come to your purpose. Purpose, is it bigger than myself? Is the purpose bigger than myself? Write down your purpose. Your passion. I'm at my best self when, what interests me, what makes me happier. My values. What do I stand for? What is it that I want to also take in? Maybe I stand for integrity. However, I also want to take in some flexibility in 2021 along with integrity. So you are free to choose your values too. Remember, there is a list of values if you want to, if you want to go into, uh, you know, however, you know, it's all well defined within you. But sometimes giving it a name helps you in understanding yourself better. So go through the list and pick those values that you have not paid attention to and take them along with you in 2021 so that you can always grow you can always give space to something new. So again, skip the steps because these are rewards. Come to my personal mission, verb plus outcome. Remember, verb without outcome is nothing. Outcome without a verb is nothing. No action. Outcome is just hanging loose, you know. There's no base to it. And then go forward. Do I belong? Pause and realign yourself if you haven't aligned. Like, for example, I gave an example of women. Realign your values so that, you know, you can all walk together, be in synergy. Where am I in five years? Visualize. Because to paint, as Puneet and I discussed over there, painting ke liye aapko pehle puri picture aapke samne honi chahiye. Once the whole picture is in front of you, you can paint each stroke. And then after the ODC plan, let's skip the two steps because I, as I told you, these are all rewards or um, uh, cogs in the wheel. So what is my life criteria? A very important thing. And here, here you will unlock the words. I want you all to unlock three power words. You've already given me one. Hope is definitely, you know, with all of you. I want you to take in three power words as your switches, as your anchors, as you move forward from here. So life criteria, to life ki theme hai meri, Say, for example, your theme is to uh, build a better world or, you know, I am working towards my trainings or I'm working towards my business profit or I'm working towards my family well-being. If that's a theme, unlock three words for yourself, right? And as you unlock, if you write down in the chat, it will be wonderful for me. Resilience, acceptance, love, wonderful. Focus, accomplish, cherish. Wonderful. Line up my program okay, that you said a uh, uh, mission. Great, Gyanendra. And and who else is writing the three words? Power words. Unlock your words. Empowered, joy, and secure. Yes, you're secure and empowered. So that means that matters to you. So please write your words that empower you. When you when you hear those words, you feel you know you can hang on to them. I'll share a recent experience with you all. I was at Fortis. My dad was suffering with COVID and uh, he was in the ICU and it was the most difficult time we all faced. He's 70 and he just traveled from US 
and uh, we had hardly spent any time because he was in quarantine many which ways and despite of all the tests he got positive and and he was put in a uh, uh, major uh, you know uh, support system for oxygen the masks and all that but and we were praying and obviously it's everything that we all do you know in such situations and then suddenly as i was in the in fortis i saw that concrete you know floor outside the emergency had a little leaf coming out of it and i was wondering such a concrete floor this is such a well maintained floor and yet this life springs forth from it so what came to me the word that came to me as like a gift was hope and i i hung on to it i was it was my power word that time and my dad is completely fine he's with us and those 20 days went by and now we are you know after that but i hung i was hanging on to this power word hope and it presented itself in various ways to me throughout this period so this is how when you have a power word for 2021 trust me friends it's going to take you it's going to drive you towards your purpose towards what all you decide in this life's game right yeah sapika is sharing resilience balance excellence resilience is beautiful word okay and then you move forward my personal priority for next 12 months go and here you go back six steps okay i'm going to share this with you and you go back six step and you start this process with a personal mission what's my personal mission so what's my priority and my priority is such that i need to set my goal for the year and that is what will define each month each day each hour of yours and it will be so wonderfully defined that you will not you are all moving towards one place you know and anything that is knocking at your door you will only open if it's in synergy in alignment with what you really want to do so you will know when to shut the door you will know the joy of missing out okay and then now the last one is go and crystallize your goals collect the stars collect the stars is first concrete goal second concrete goal and third concrete goal three goals which are concrete which i like she said like 100 100 stories ganendra just somebody shared right ganendra i think 100 stories she's clear on it yeah ganendra so this is how you develop your concrete goals you know you know how you're planning your life ahead so this being that and then let's see the last one step 0 okay now we are doing everything we are planning but always know the bigger picture you are just a speck in the universe and you needn't be too serious about life rather more alive to every moment that presents itself let's be more and more alive he who is content is rich said lao tzu right and so just be very present to every moment now uh as somebody said resilience i would share this beautiful i'm sure you know the rebirth of an eagle how how an eagle is the his its life span is very huge it can stay up to 70 years however a normal life span is 30 32 years but when at 30 or 40 it starts you know it, its beaks become very blunted and it cannot really get the prey and uh, either it has two options at that moment in that moment right and and the two options are either he gives up on his life or he rebuilds himself to rebuild he has to sit on top of the mountain break off his wings and also you know hit hit the rock so that he can break this beak completely break it and go through the pain and then stay there for 150 days 150 days you know and then all the things the cell regeneration of the cells happens his beak becomes new and he gets another 30 years as a gift else he dies you know in the 30 years he doesn't do this so to rebuild a, an eagle goes through this process that's called resilience no matter how you know you been pulled down be like that arrow kitna peeche kichenge utna aage jayenge right so don't let your pains trauma struggles anything that pulls you down don't treat it as that i i just missed the sadguru story that i was telling you people so everybody asked him what 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 is 
uh, to do with all these negative emotions that we get, the negative uh, feelings that we have, you know, greed aata hai, desires aate hai, lust aata hai, itna kuch hai, toh hum kya kare uska? You know, why can't we just have all positive emotions around us? He laughed and he said, you know what, everybody these days is running after organic food. It's a fad now, organic, organic, organic. What is organic? What is the soil actually, uh, you know, fed with? It's not fed with a bag of fertilizers. It's fed with stinking uh, vegetable peels and shit. <laughs> and then the flower blooms and the fruit grows and it's so sweet and you people eat it. So use all those feelings that pull you down as the thad for your flower to bloom. Valleys hote hai, isi le mountains hai, right? So let's stick to that. And like the eagle, grow. Yeah, springboard to grow. So learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning. And this whole session was only about questioning. So keep questioning, keep growing. And uh, let's hear it from, with the kids, from the kids. I love this video. I'm sure you people have seen it in the training background, but I still love it. If you're tired of starting over, stop giving up. Here's the deal. I can do anything, be anything, create anything, dream anything, become anything. My dad always says, you are what you do, not what you say. Well, you grown up say you love us, but I challenge you, please make your actions reflect your words. If you believe in yourself, you will know how to ride a bike. If you don't, you just keep practicing. I like my pajamas. I like my stuff. I like my rooms. I like my whole house. My whole house is great. I can do anything good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do anything. I just want everything to be good as possible. Nothing else. You better not give up on us. No, you better not. Because, as you know, in some cases, you're all we've got. And if I can be nice, I think all of us can be nice too. This is your time. Now go out there and take it. Thank you so much. And these are some apps that you can take uh, with you, Phil. And thank you so much for having me here, Satvika. And thank you to my mentor, Abdul Rahim, sir, who actually invited me for today's session. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Shrija. I think that was a wonderful session. And uh, I think it was really effect it was a really effective session uh, to have in the beginning of an year. And also Abdul sir was right here, but I think he had a meeting. So he just left. Yeah, I, I saw him. So yeah. he also uh, asked me to thank you for the session. It was actually lovely. And thank you so much, everyone, all of you who joined this session. I'll also just, uh, Shrija, you also wanted to share some feedback link with them, is it? Yes, uh, exactly. So actually, I'll also be so sharing I, I'll, that. I'll share it with you because right now I think, okay, let me see. Okay, so, uh, so what I'll do is, oh, yes, I will it is also, here. It is here. So I will also share a link with them. So probably mm -hmm. I can share that feedback with you then. Yes, yes. And here it is. I've also already shared in the chat. I think it's there. If you could rate me here. Thank you. And you could put in some words uh, for me in my website, which is lifechangework.com. And uh, be with me, connected. And happy 2021 to all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Shrija. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Ritika. Thank you. Thank you, Priyambada. Thank you, Anantro. Thank you, Vinayak. Thank you so much.